Hey, welcome once again to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. This is Jay Nicholas. Uh, we're going to tie a another large size. Uh, it's a hollow deceiver. Um, fish it for any kind of big predator species. Um, I'm starting with my Gosh, this is, you know, this is pretty common. I start with my Eric's Predator Stinger Hook, 4 aught or 6 aught. Uh, nice hook. Um, 6 aught may, might sound just enormously large, but it is not. Not for flies of this substance. I'm using a GSP. This particular one is like a GSP 100 thread, and, um, and you can tell I'm struggling here. Well, what am I looking for? I'm, oh, I'm looking for some bucktail. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, here it comes. I got some uh, red. So my color themes here are going to be red and black. Um, I'm actually tying these for Chris to use uh, when he goes golden dorado fishing. And uh, so I think I forgot to cord up my thread. And I need to be careful because I get used to using the 150D and the 100D I can break. Uh, I can definitely break it. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of flash in here already. Uh, sometimes I don't put any flash in the tail. Uh, and I'm quite sure at this point I'm going to be adding... Um, my goodness, where's my... Uh, Where's my feathers? I thought I was gonna put some feathers in here, but maybe, okay, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'm gonna tie a hollow fly with no feather tail, which is entirely legitimate. Uh, tons of these hollow flies uh, are fished with great effectiveness by people that don't use tails. So here we go. The first, uh, first uh, collar, I'll call it, was not tied hollow style. Uh, I've got some extra flash there, and I'm just removing excess. Uh, oh, there, there go my feathers. And you know, there's every likelihood that I simply forgot to put them on uh, when I normally do. I normally put them on before this stage. Those are nice long. These are actually from a a, a half a grizzly a saddle patch. Uh, right down at the base so they have a wide butt and a very narrow tip. If you get a feather that's narrow all the way from the butt to the tip, it just is not going to wiggle as much. It just isn't. So i got four of those really nice, long, uh, grizzly purple saddle hackles. Now I begin my hollow tying and I've got my red and black and look at how nicely that flares. Makes me happy when it does that. No butts to trim. Push it back. Now, am I gonna work it? Yep, I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna push against it. Gonna build up my thread dam here. There we go. Now, it, typically I'll tie, boy, I, I can't, it, it's, it's, it's rare if I don't tie three hollow stations. Uh, if I was just going to do a, a pure deceiver, I'd do bucktail collar in the back, then I'd do a braid body, and then uh, one collar in front. But this is uh, this will have this will push a lot more water by having several hollow stations. And once again, uh, and you know, if it, I'm talk I, I talk about how it's desirable to have this hair flare. The hair on a bucktail different, at different locations will flare more or less. Typically near the base of the tail, uh, it will fl it's a little bit hollower. It will flare more than if you're down by the tip. But there are some, some tails where the, the hair just flares nicely along the whole bucktail. And anytime I get a tail like that, I just I rejoice. So the, there's a there, there's a lot of repetition here, and you know if you if you're just watching several of these videos and you you're just tying a few of these flies to get different color, color combinations, you might think, well, this is going to get old fast. It really doesn't. There is it. I have so much fun, and, and again, so right here, I'm not not doing a hollow style tie. Um, 
I used a black and white back and a black and white belly and I just decided I didn't have room to make it hollow style. A um, little bit of finish. This is, I'm pretty sure this is Creelix. Um, flash on top. The point is, the more of these things you tie, the more bucktails you work with. And that's finished off with Pro Sport Fisher G3 Jungle Cock. The more of these you work with, the more you realize it, it, there's a lot of skills that, that you will develop and you'll just get a feel for them over time. You don't get these flies figured out with the, the first 10 you tie or 20 or 50 or even 100. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful journey. Uh, use a marker to get that head thread black. A little bit hard as hell. Now this is a wonderful fly, lots of good motion, nice dark pattern, it shows up really well. Have fun tying these, and I hope you get to fish them also. Thank you for joining us.